Hey guys, it's Nikki, and today I have another book opinion for you. Today we are talking about The House Plant, a short story by Jeremy Ray. I thought it was only fitting to be wearing my green lipstick today for this book opinion. The House Plant comes out today, December 14th. So make sure you go and pick up a copy of this short story by Jeremy Ray. The House Plant is an extremely emotional story, truly an emotional roller coaster. It comes in at just over 30 pages. I gave The House Plant a 5 out of 5 stars. The House Plant is a story about a fern that's lived in a greenhouse and has been there for some time. He's watched all of the other plants taken home, purchased, and brought to lovely new homes. He's made sure that he's not the overly attractive so that people don't want to pick him up and they're not so inclined to bring him home because he just truly does not want to become a houseplant. That is, till one day he meets his new owner and she's not taking no for an answer. She takes him home, she feels like they've got this bond and felt like the fern was speaking to her and wanted her to take him home. His new owner brings him home where she feeds him, loves him, waters him, even gives him some pets at time to time, but she also named him George. George slowly starts to come around and his whole thoughts change on becoming a house plant. Something then happens to his owner and the whole story goes from there. Like I said, this is an emotional roller coaster. I don't think, and I'm going to quote my written review, I don't think I have ever felt so incredibly bad for all of the plants and flowers that have perished while in my care, but at the same time, I wanted to run out to the local greenhouse and buy every single fern that they had there and bring it home and give it a new life. There's not much more I can say about this story because I don't want to give any spoilers away, but Jeremy Ray truly, truly shows his true talents as an author in just a measly 30 plus pages. You will dive in, it is easily devoured, and then you are only going to want more. This was my first experience with Jeremy's writing, and I now consider myself a huge fan. I can't wait to go and jump into some of his past work, as well as waiting for any of his future work to come out. Thank you so much, Jeremy, for sending me a copy to read and review. I'm going to have to get my hands on a physical copy. Go and pick yourself up a copy and I will make sure to have all of Jeremy's information down below so you can go and follow him, send him all the love that he deserves. And that's it for today. I will see you guys all in my next bookish video. Bye.